For Cinco de Mayo, we are reading Chicks and Salsa by Erin Reynolds, illustrated by Paulette Bogan. So this has recipes in it, which is pretty cool, Mama. We'll be just getting done eating. Chips and salsa. Chips and salsa. And cheese. Mm -hmm. There were grumblings in the hen house of Nut Thatcher Farm. The chickens were tired of chicken feed. The rooster took it upon himself to solve this problem. Mm, Mrs. Nut Thatcher, the farmer's wife, had started watching cooking shows in the afternoons. The rooster was perched on a fence post outside the farmhouse window when he discovered the solution to his problem. Yeah. Salsa. Right. Led by the rooster, the chickens crept into the garden where they took tomatoes and uprooted onions. What's in the bush? That's a chicken. Uh, I don't know what that is. That's a chicken. Some kind of a bird. It's a chicken. That night, the chickens ate chips and salsa. Though nobody was quite certain where the chickens got the chips. The tasty tang of tomatoes and onions hung over the barnyard, and the rooster said, Ole! He gave him the money. Mm -hmm. Oh, they got chips. Oh, I see they got chips from the, from the rat. He paid them off. <laughs> Very soon, there were mumblings at the duck pond of Nut Thatcher Farm. Inspired by the chickens, the ducks decided they were tired of fish. With the rooster's encouragement, the ducks dipped into the garden where they selected cilantro and gathered garlic. Uh-oh. That night, the ducks ate guacamole. Though nobody was quite certain where the ducks got the avocados. I think Daddy likes the word guacamole and I think he likes it. I do. That night, the ducks ate guacamole. <laughs> yeah. Guacamole. <laughs> Look, there's those rats again. He's paying off those rats. Oh, where is it at? Okay. Uh, Yep. Hey, Daddy. The spicy scent of garlic and cilantro hung over the barnyard, and the ducks said, Ole! The next morning, there were rumblings in the pig pen of Nut Thatcher Farm. Overwhelmed by the enticing aromas, the pigs decided they were tired of slop. Oh, there's a cat. Look at that. The pigs decided they were tired of slop. I know. I wouldn't even eat it for a day. I was like, don't be Look at these little piggies. Look at their butt. That's you, Daddy Lou. You were picking. What? Don't think I'm a cat. Okay. Right there. He's hiding in the woodwork there. Uh huh. Okay, ready? Let's ready. read. Oh, there's the farmer. Let's see what he says. While the rooster distracted Farmer Nut Thatcher, the pigs plodded into the garden where they borrowed beans and chopped chilies. Look. Oh, look, he's, he's red. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. That's how it feels like stuff. That night, the pigs ate nachos, though nobody was quite certain where the pigs got the nacho cheese sauce. The delightful deliciousness of cheese and chilies hung over the barnyard, and the pig said, Ole! As everyone knows, when a passion for southwestern cuisine takes hold of farm animals and so many sumptuous, spicy, savory scents collide in the barnyard air, it can only lead to one thing. Fiesta! <laughs> the rooster got things organized, then returned to his fence post to watch for a good enchilada recipe. The horses decorated the barn. The bull practiced his Mexican hat dance, though nobody was quite certain where the bull got the sombrero. Sombrero. Look, he has a nose ring. And the chickens, ducks, and pigs snuck into the garden, but all of their spicy southwestern supplies were gone. Oh no. The scallions had been stolen. The peppers had been pilfered. The limes had been lifted. What are they going to do? How are they going to eat? I got our fist up! But there were slurpings in the kitchen of Nut Thatcher Farm. Stirred by the succulent smells in the barnyard, Mrs. Nut Thatcher had decided to make tamales for the county fair. A saucy sweetness hung over the farmhouse kitchen, and Mrs. Nut Thatcher said, Disappointed, the animals canceled the fiesta. 20. That evening, the chickens ate their chicken feed. 20. The ducks ate their fish. Twenty. And the pigs ate their slop. Aw, same old food.
But while the nut thatchers were at the fair, the rooster crept into the kitchen and borrowed a French cookbook. The next morning, the rooster ate crepes with white grapes and champagne sauce. Now, nobody was quite certain where the rooster learned how to read. I know that. Who's reading it for him? Who else? <laughs> Hi, Daddy. A satisfied smile stretched over the rooster's beak. I can say that. And the rooster said, Ooh la la. Ooh la la. Ooh la la. <laughs> They're going from Spanish to French. Italian. French. 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 I mean, French.